There are about 90 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community controlled art centres across Australia. Art centres are the hub of community life. They support artists and the elders are at the foundation of the art centre. Art centres bring generations together for everyone to learn from each other by sharing stories of culture, country and kin and keeping them alive for the future. Art centres are all different but they all do these things and this is a celebration of three of them. This is the San Chun country in El Bayani, my grandfather's country. Art center that came here for the town to the Chukurva, the country dreaming. Mostly our ladies that come here. They do things to hold this country's songs, their country songs, share the song for the community. I'm happy too, you know, it's making me think back where I used to listen to my father's aunties singing. That's why I'm really interested in with these old ladies in arts club. Touches me, you know, in Aboriginal songs. It's our law. That's why I am coming to Heart Center. I like to sit around with our lady Alice, Eunice, because they gives me a smile, happy inside and bread, you know. Chopi Desert Weavers is a social enterprise of the Nunanjara Pichinjara Yankunjara Women's Council. One of the beauties of Jumpy is that it is actually a vehicle for allowing women the opportunity to go out into country to collect grass and to remain in country and on community. Often we load up a jumpy trip carrier with lots of lovely ladies and we go out to harvest grass that's the core of the work that's produced but it often means that there's opportunities for the women to go hunting for food or collecting bush medicines. The bush is the best medicine, you know. You go and camp out, you feel so changed next time, you know. That's why, you know, all them jumpies, when they go out, they want to go out bush because it's so lovely to be roaming the country. I was looking at them old ladies doing janvi work. Just by looking at it, I started doing it. Then I fell in love with it, so I kept doing it. All settled down very well, you know, because I was sort of grumpy and upset sometimes. But now I settled down like it sort of brought peace to my life, you know, peace and harmony, and changed my lifestyle around. So learning. Older women are the superstars of Jumpy. They're the ones that hold the cultural knowledge and Jumpy work is often informed by that cultural knowledge that they are the keepers of and so they're very valued members of the Jumpy family as they are in community as well. It's good, you know, to come here to be with the old people. We get stories too from the old women. We learn something from the old people. Like me, I'm a bit young. I learned something from Sonia and Daisy. It's important, right? Not only for us, but the younger ones coming behind. I mean, it's good for everybody, you know, to come in and 
Young to old, too big to get here. I never, never saw this place as an art center. I saw it as a library for indigenous people. You walk in, you have fables, you have true stories, you have crime stories, you have yes. beginning stories, love stories, romantic stories. And the old people, you know, they're the knowledge keepers. And without art centers, a whole lot of stories will be lost. Yes. Yes. The older people like to come Mangaja to do their painting, their art and their country and to show us young people how they used to live in the desert and teaching us how to paint, learning us even the stories all people used to tell us. The Art Centre is a support hub for everybody. People come in here to paint and to create their artwork and to record their stories. But we're a lot more than that in the sense that everyone comes in here first to have their breakfast, to talk about what's happened overnight, to talk about the care and support that they need firstly to be able to create artwork, to be able to enjoy the space and use the studio. So our studio is a safe space. It's a space where people can come and relax and be social. Our artists are our board, are our membership, they govern what we do, they govern how we operate. So it's always driven by the community, by the artists themselves. Everybody loves coming to Magaja. When they come in and say, oh, I feel real peace in this building. It makes them real happy and they enjoy it. Painting and they come here, just sit down and sometimes I just sit with them and just, they usually tell me stories, them old people. Uh, they came out of the desert and how they live by the river. They see it as a safe place where they can come here and just relax, you know, they don't have to paint. They'll just have a fade and lay down. When they come here, they know what they're doing, so it's their routine, they'll have breakfast and then they'll sit down and want to finish off a painting and tell stories. The art centre is a good place. It's a place where people come to be happy in the midst of a lot of chaos and crisis. The art centre is a place where people feel safe. It's a place where people can have meals. It's a place where people can come to have a shower. It's a place where people can do their washing. And at the same time, it's a place that makes money for people and their families. So in that regard, it's a very special model. It has the cultural, the social, as well as the economic that come together in a holistic way. The Art Centre is a community hub. It's a place for everyone. And you get men, women, all different age groups. Like some days you'll have like three or four generations painting together in a room. I really love working here because every day is different. It's unpredictable. You meet all these different people, building relationships every day over a long time. It's really special. Part of my job is assisting the artist with day-to-day -day stuff, like calling the clinic to get medication, calling um, home care to come pick someone up or bring them in, even helping people with simple tasks. Even some artists ask my help to bring them to the toilet, that kind of stuff. Lots of different ways we support people. There was an expectation that the art centre looks after old people, but in what way was never really made clear. That starts from the expectation to pick people up on a daily basis and drop them off back home, as well as if we go on bush trips organising special carers and paying for them and having disabled portable toilets with us. And, you know, there's all these kinds of things that are taken for granted that we should be doing. When you form really personal relationships in the course of the work that we do, you get to understand and know people very well and we can often be quite highly attuned to changes that people might be experiencing in their well-being and health. And so we can often refer to other services, issues that we see with artists in their decline, in their cognitive function or their mobility. We all know each other in community, aged care, 
clinic workers, everyone, we all kind of work together and communicate about the older artists, what they need. Everyone knows where they are. It's a good thing because the old people, I think, in all old people homes tend to get forgotten. And for them to come here and paint, it's like mentally they're going home when they paint. Yeah, physically they're not able to, but mentally they're already home and painting country. We were selected by the curator Clotilde Bullen to include a group of women from Munkaja to continue their practice with Perspex. It showcases to them how important the work that they're doing is. I think sometimes family just think, oh, mum paints and that's really nice. But getting to see it on that scale and, and the impact it has and the response it gets from public really lifts everyone's pride and sense of what they're doing and why the Art Centre exists. Art centres are really strong places for older people to be respected and valued and they contribute fully to the economy and families and they also contribute a wealth of information that informs the artwork. See this basket is made out of grass, that grass janti, we call it janti. It's not a new thing, but the colours are new and the raffias and the needle, but long time they did have that. Or the whippia. Or a whippia or the hair. One really important part of the Art Centre is facilitating bush trips, getting artists back on country, and that's something that the Art Centre puts a lot of work into, working with people where they want to go. I've been lucky enough to go with some artists on some small bush trips, and I think it's like really being in their comfort zone. I think it's their country, it's where they have their connection, and I think you can't have that anywhere else. We haven't got much funding for Janby Corner, you know? Not just Janvi Corner, but everywhere world. Funding is a main issue. It's so important to keep older people strong, healthy, active, being part of something that they play a very important role in. You could see the difference it makes when they come to Mangaja. You know, like it's something that it's part of them. You know, they, they come to share their stories, tell their history, share their culture, language to the younger generations, which, are, you know, I think is brilliant. Where else could you get something like this in a cultural way? I hope that government will see that an art centre is not just an economic space creating jobs in communities but it's very much considered a space of um, a community space that supports all generations and that it's finally getting an acknowledgement for all the extra work that we're doing that is not considered extra by the community but it's considered us outside of our funding agreements. We just can't do this all on our own. So it's really important that we have a number of really flourishing partnerships. And I think there's great potential to work together with organisations out there for the outcomes of artists in community particularly with some of the aged care facilities, for example, where we're supporting women that have moved into those places and are often removed from community. I think that is a very encouraging sign of the way that the investment can be quite small but can be very meaningful as well in supporting women out on country. It was great to hear the feedback from those other agencies and see that they also recognise 
what we contribute and what the Arts Centre contributes and the critical role it plays and how important our relationships are. The conversations around what we do for our artists, all the roles we play in this space is something we've talked about for a long time and felt that that wasn't recognised and isn't part of our funding or part of the support that we receive from government, but it's definitely something that everybody recognises within our community. So we were trying to work out ways that we could start to tell that story. Art centres are really strong places for older people to be respected and valued and they contribute fully to the economy and families and they also contribute a wealth of information that informs the artwork. Within the art centre it's a very intergenerational space and so when these women are creating work they're actually sharing that with their wider community. So they're really important repositories for cultural information and I think that's the real strength of art centres. They should really put our own people on a pedestal. Every organisation everywhere should put them on a pedestal and rise them up because they've done a lot for not just their own people but everyone else as well.